Uh, the question for us is how will the district focus oops, how will the district focus on project based learning, PBL, affect teacher satisfaction levels based on a district survey? We engaged uh, the Buck Institute for Education to uh, come and help us with this. Uh, we knew we wanted to do it, but we also know that we didn't know very much about it, frankly, and, and wanted to have some expertise in the building. Uh, essentially, we started off with a three-day uh, three uh, PBL symposium in August. Uh, Worcester Secondary is in the middle of our district, and we got 105 teachers out for that. The uh, participants are expected to produce an actual project for their class in that time. So they're thinking very concretely about a class that they're actually going to use this project in and trying to get that prepared and, and ready to go in this environment. Um, the way that the Buck teaches the, the PBL is basically that this has to be the main course. That's an expression that you hear uh, them uh, use quite frequently. The project is the main course, it's not a dessert, it's not a way to show your learning, it's a way to actually learn, okay, and so that, that's a key part of this. And when they, they love the collaboration, they love the learning over time, this is the, how we're going to make some traction on this stuff. There's a lot of enthusiasm about change right now, and uh, we've put an awful lot of emphasis and money into professional uh, learning this year, and it's paid off with, uh, in, you know, huge enthusiasm, and it's really nice to see. The next steps for us, of course, is to bring this back and uh, have a PBL 200 level and allow teachers an opportunity to come back in the summertime and continue to move their learning forward. We also have a lot of interest uh, for people who missed that first round for one reason or another and they want to get involved. So we're going to try to do that. 